finals. All right, and we're back to quadruple rat. The infestation persists. But Tacos and Isaiah, I mean, you can see why. One of the things about Pikachu that works really well uh, is the up -beat. The fact that they're just up being out of these terrible situations and rejoining their teammate. All right, getting into it. This is actually a much slower game. Like we're not seeing anything sort of drastic or explosive happening just quite yet. But blue team down to just a little bit more. And I mean, Takus and Isaiah, you know, not only do they win in winner's finals, but also, I mean, it's Takus and Isaiah. They're two living legends of the game teaming up. This is a tall order, even for players with us at the caliber of Algen and Joshi. Yeah, green team being... Oh, hold on a second. Green team kind of being dismantled right now. Oh, but the ledge snag. Now we have things completely even for these two. But 117% on what I believe is Isaiah. Uh, yes, Isaiah is port two. Isaiah not quite dying just yet. In fact, he's, I mean, I understand why. Now we're actually seeing Alvin and Joshi when they do find themselves with the ability to either do a 2v1 or go for an edge guard, now they're opting for the 2v1. I feel like maybe that speaks to sort of the respect they have for these players as singles threats. You know, against, I mean, you know, KD3 and, uh, and Stevie G are fantastic players, but when it was broken down with those two 1v1s, you could see that Alvin and Joshi had a handle. But this time around, I feel like they're instead trying to engineer 2v1s whenever they can, and that's going to be the advantage. And oh, an unfortunate stock drop right there, not actually getting to the ledge. Yeah, still slight advantage for red team. Oh, sorry, green team. There is no red team right now uh, for green team, but it disappears just like that. Okay, green team really starting to come alive. Look at this, five stocks to three. And look at them, oh, they're just, look at, they're covering the lows, covering the highs. They're just dominating every space on the stage right here. Oh, but blue team, I, man, blue team, I like how they're able to like get a little bit of space, you know, push them to the corner just a little bit more, but it's only for an instant. Regardless, green team is still finding those openings, even when they're the ones trapped in the corner. Okay. Oh, man, look at this. I don't know what happened. I don't know what button had to be switched on, but right now this is there is no contest here. Oh my god, offstage getting forward smashed. Isaiah just throwing out these forward smashes right and left. Hell yeah, dude. What's up? Yeah, this is, uh... He's not even... <laughs> He's not even trying to mess with it. He's like, I don't know, whatever. I'll just wait for my teammate to respawn. <laughs> and that's going to be it. Yep. That was insane. I'm so, I'm so glad we, we got here. I'm so glad we're in Grand Finals. Hey, everybody. And this, yep. this is vindication. You know, a lot of a lot of people, they, they thought Alvin and Joshi were you know a little overseeded. We had them as I, I think the two, but people forget how insane Peru is in teams. Even though these guys, it's not like these guys play together. Like they they just they just joined up and they're insane. Yeah, I mean, but uh, you know, Tacos and Isaiah. I mean, they they've been here before. They've done it so many times. Yeah. Just two living legends, and I mean, they played enough doubles over the years that I'm pretty sure they could pick up a controller alongside someone who's like, doesn't even know what 64 is, and they'd still be able to figure out what to do.
Oh yeah, hey guys, it's Dark Horse. It's Dark Horse. I decided to uh, put the headset on. It's been a long day. Yeah, but it's almost over. This is the fairy tale end of all things here. And blue team starting off, honestly, last game, they also started off pretty well. And I genuinely don't even know what happened, but it was such a dynamic shift in the second half. Ta One thing about Tacos and Isaiah, and how strong they are in teams, is their, their ability to make adjustments. Uh, they, you know, they see what's happening, they see what's working, they see what's not working, and then they do make the changes. Yeah, and I, honestly, they maybe need to figure out what changes they need to be making because both of them at really high percent right here. Either of them could possibly drop at any instant. Oh, and that's going to do it. The back throw is enough. Yeah. Oh, big trades. <gasps> what an even position. Oh, my God. And that was so smart. You know, the back throw would have taken the soccer, but they had to go with the forward throw because it's a quicker throw and they were about to, they were about to get punished. Yeah, there's so many tiny bits of awareness. Oh, that uh, the up air to grab <gasps> sets up for this big edge guard. Is that enough? Yes, and he grabs the ledge. That's able to do it. What a big pickup for blue team. And he finally loses that stock, but that was the first stock he's lost. They are blue yeah, team up by a solid stock, yeah. solid stock up. But you got Joshi off stage with no help. Still able to get out. Peak of privilege. Yeah, I feel like Pikachu is one of the only characters in the game that can have two Pikachus trying to edge guard him and he still gets back. Yep. Oh, but this is a terrible position. When one of you is stuck off stage and leaving your teammate to just struggle all on his own. All right, and that's, uh, you know, the advantage that blue team had. Peru was looking really good, and then just kind of taken away from them. This is reminding me of that game one where it was so neck and neck, and then just they just got dismantled, taken apart, and I feel like that's starting to happen once more. Green team barely being touched right now, and oh. Oh, oh but blue. still, there you go, touched by each other. <laughs> Ew. Uh, but regardless, yeah, look at this. And the pressure right now. They're just they're they're looking out for each other though. This is this is adorable. They got each other's backs. Green team is just doing such a good job of dividing and conquering. It's, they split them up, they get them both off stage, and they they, they do their 1v1s. Yeah, and you gotta uh, by the way, guys, uh, I'm Salty Fun, the co-caster co here with Dark Horse. He's been he's been on he's been on and off here all day. He's been holding it down. It's been great. Yeah, yeah. That's I, listen. I'm I'm loving to get the opportunity. These matches have been hyped. They've been commentating themselves for the most part. I mean, look at this blue team. They're it's still so close. They're only down by one stock, and just like I think, oh, but they're not able to actually seal yeah, the everyone's deal. Everyone's just at such high percent too. They're all they're all oh. one grab away. You see, both teams have someone down to one stock, and both teams have someone at high percent. Green team loses it first, though. Okay. Oh, oh and just snags. snags that ledge. I like it. Green team only up one stock. It is still anybody's game. It is super close. Oh, but here's the 2v1s. <laughs> Huge combo. Things are looking better and better for green team at every moment. And see, such stage control there. One of them high, one of them low. Oh, throws out that T jolt and it lost him so much time I off stage. I don't He's know dead. if they wanted to do that. Yeah, and it, it's oh. all up to Joshi now. 2v1 against Isaiah Tacos? I don't think so, <laughs> man. I don't know. I mean, here's the thing it'll be legendary if it happens. Yes. You would tell your a grandchildren lot, you know what? about it. A okay. lot of things would be, <laughs> but a lot of things cannot happen, and that is one of them. And so it goes. That's going to be another another game down for Tacos and Isaiah. A singular game, only eight stocks away from taking the entirety of SmashCon 2022 and, doubles. And what, what are they? Uh, they dropped one game in uh, Winter's Finals. 
Or, did, I'm a, did they drop any game besides that throughout the entire tournament? I don't. I, I, I don't want to say no, but I'm pretty sure they didn't. Honestly, we'll just say no. I, Why not? I mean, again, Isaiah and Tacos, they've been here. They've won Smash Con before. They, they are one of the best teams that we've seen. Uh, but again, you have, we have some Peruvians in the chat. Gohan knows Peru is insane at teams. Oh, as we're seeing right now, look at that. The 2v1 turning into an edge guard situation while the, uh, well, I believe it was Joshi just protects his teammate in that uh, while he's going for it. No, a little, little team team KO there. Oh, what a beautiful timing on that up B, but the partner is right there to catch him anyway. There you go, another good start from blue team. Yeah, this is honestly the best start we've seen so far. And each game, it's getting closer and closer. Game one was a blowout. Game two, that was not the worst thing in the world. And right now, considering how good they're looking right here. <gasps> oh, big edge of our possibility, and he grabs oh, the leg. Oh, he just snags it again. Oh my, where are you going, buddy? Oh, he just barely made it back to stage. I thought we were going to see some early Pika stocks dropping. There you guys see Josh. He, he tried to come in and help, and he just got grabbed. And they're both oh. off stage, but they get hit. He gets another chance to recover. Who is everybody alive? He was underneath the platform. <laughs> oh, just gets all the way across, but both of them run up and grab him. It's... Man, look at the adjustments Green Team is constantly and making. There you go. Now you see Alvin and Joshi with that same position, right? One Pika underneath the top flight, one standing on it. You just control the saves that way. Almost able to complete the pass. Oof. And that's actually a really bad pass to mess up. Like they needed to take out Isaiah's stock right there. Meanwhile, Joshi's at 103%. Both of them are off stage. This is such a miserable place. Look at them, both of them can't even do much. And they just made it back, but they couldn't, they, they didn't have the edge guard down. The, he up smashed the wrong way. And that's huge. Yeah. Alvin, he was one grab away, but he got to live through that. And that should be it. Yeah, Isaiah's stock finally dropping. It's technically three sto five stocks to four, but there it goes. And there you go. Two stocks apiece all around. And uh, Tacos, at, you know, not high percent, but he's up there. A grab at the ledge could do it. It's like on paper, yes, blue team is ahead a little bit. But remember, they were dominating the first part of this game. But that lead is just being shrunk and shrunk and shrunk. There, uh, I feel like we're just going to see it happen again and again where green team, whatever adjustments Peru has made are just going to be completely Oh, undone. and there you go. Oh. He had something there, but he just got the jump off before the attack. He missed it. No jump off stage. He makes it back, though, just fine. Okay. This is a... Oh, man. Such a scary position. Taco's goes on team. his last stock. I did. High percent. But Ooh. Alvin misses the ledge. If they can take out Isaiah right here, that would be such a massive pickup. He's at 103%. Will a grab kill right now? Absolutely. Back throw will do it. Needs to find it. That aggressive forward here putting him in the advantageous position. Both the blue team though on the ledge. A little bit of a friendly fire. And he's dropping that stock. Oh, and no. And I think we just saw Joshi, instead of trying to recover, he just quick attacked off stage for the faster respawn. Classic Peruvian uh, move there. Yeah, we've been seeing them do it, recognizing, knowing when it's a lost cause. But here we see Isaiah, he's still holding on to that second to last stock, high percent, but so is Tacos. If Tacos loses his stock, stealing is almost not an option. Okay. And now it's not. <laughs> this is so even right now. Whoever takes this next stock, Tacos, and oh, is that going to do it? Here it is, Tacos down, and Isaiah, and Isaiah goes. Can't. Did he SD or was he just, did he get Man, it all, guarded? It all happened so fast. I was busy looking at, uh, at Tacos, but I think he just missed the ledge. Uh, I mean, in that situation, yes, Isaiah could hypothetically make that comeback, but the 2v1 with the Peruvians in the driver's seat, uh, it was kind of a foregone conclusion that the fact that they managed to snipe that stock from Tacos got them a game on the board. So ta we've, we've talked about how strong Peruvians are, and I, I want to tell a little story that I've told a few times today. Uh, going back to a Sunset Blast Tournament in Mexico, Josh and I made grand finals against Gerson and Tavo Mano, and they almost eight stocked us in a game. <laughs> Peru is insane. That's but you have like doubles. guys like Gohan in the chat, and they're saying like Alvin and Josh isn't even our strongest team. Like 
You guys, you don't want to <laughs> see what we had. Oh my god. And we're seeing it now. Evan Josh is strong enough to take a game, at least one, yeah. off Tacos and Isaiah. The thing is, winners finals, they also took a game, but they couldn't bring it all the way to the end. So right now, right here, let's I feel like they are once again in control. Oh, is that a dead Pikachu? Oh, is he gonna be able to finish it off? No, he has to no, go for the he, up air and he, he wanted a reverse back air, but you saw the protection there from the other Pika. Oh, but, but they that, get both stocks anyway. You can only protect him from so long. It's eight stocks to six. Oh, Are no. we going to see the eight stock from Team Peru right now? <laughs> <laughs> it's still possible. You'll be telling your grandkids about it if it happens. Oh, I, I think he wanted that to get, send him off stage, but in the end, it's oh, he's fine, but. Man, Pikachu just he combos Pikachu all the way to the blast zone, and then Pikachu just comes back. He's like, fine. <gasps> That's so cool. He hit him with the upper in the middle of the forward air combo, and he didn't even fall out of the forward air. That was great. You had one cover and ledge. You throw the down air up high. Cover almost every option. I, I mean, okay, the eight stock is no longer a... a a possibility right here, but let's be real. That was never a possibility, man. It was not. Well, I'm just saying that wasn't gonna happen. Still close to it. Yes. We've gone through half of Tacos and Isaiah's stocks, and they, that was the first time Joshi died. And you know, Team Alvin and Joshi, they're still up too. Oh, <gasps> and another stock gone. Tacos, he just he missed the extension on that up B. That was a great fastball to avoid the attack, jump in the air, huge reversal. Honestly, I'm believing in the reset right now. I know we're still in game four here, but look at that. Oh, just barely missed out on that back of actually taking that. Yeah, are we really going to get a reset at a quarter to one in the morning? <laughs> yeah, are you kidding me? I mean, this I, menu closes at two. We have at least another hour and 15 and minutes. To be fair, none of, none of these guys are playing until at least noon tomorrow, so <laughs> they got they got time. Yeah, top player privilege. <laughs> All the wee little ones have to wake up at like 6 a.m. in order to do their pools. <laughs> Earliest pool tomorrow is at 10. It's not so bad. Yeah. I'll be here uh, at 8. Look at those pivot <laughs> up tilts. What are you going to do against that wall? Oh, sick 2v1 combo. Oh, and the accidental uh, taunt. That must have been tacos with the Hori. I mean, I'm, I'm sure they're not too worried right now, right? You know, yeah. five stocks to one. I mean, it's Isaiah, but I mean, on, also, on. but like for real, look at the way Isaiah's just like keeping himself in this. Yeah, he's. Uh, there are a few Ooh. players out there that are uh. excellent at two v ones. You know, anyone that's watched sixty four streams over the last few years, you, you think of uh, like LD and Boom and uh, and Isaiah, of course, in these two v ones. They they do some crazy stuff, but uh, five stocks to one, that is not happening, man. Yeah, but I mean now we have game five. Game that actually five. brought it. Game one was so so decisive for uh, was for cold. tacos and Isaiah. It was not even a contest, and no. all of a sudden that last game was the biggest blowout we've seen. Yeah, so that far. was brutal. That was brutal. Uh, did it finish at five stocks, or did they lose when it was four? Either way, huge. Also, I just want to point out that. Team Peru just won, and they're the ones who are doing this team huddle. They're like, oh, rub, 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 rub. I mean, <laughs> then Taco's just kind of laying back to me, like, well, I mean, all right. Think about it. If you just if you just do the exact same thing, uh, there's a really good chance team can make an adjustment. You wanna you wanna talk it over, at least say a few things. When did he switch seats? Uh, cause he was he was in oh. he's in port two. Hold on a second. We got Wait, some. But he, we got he some, was sitting there in the last game when they just got in town. Right? I think we're going to be able to relay it to you guys in just a little bit. But oh, I know. Anyway, all right. The, so we're moving into this game five. This is possibly the chance for a reset. But this is not looking nearly as strong yeah. as that game four I've was. I've been informed that Isaiah switched seats, and uh, the myth, the legend of Isaiah switching seats is uh, he doesn't lose after when he does that. Oh. He did it in Peru. He did it at Keystone. You know, he just, he just needs to get comfortable. I mean, listen, I don't know what they're putting in that seat to the left, but in, I say it's looking cracked in, in right Peru, now. In Peru, he changed seats, so he was sitting behind everybody, but right in front of the, you know, dead on on the TV. And everyone went, now, now he can see. <laughs> now it's over. <laughs> just, you didn't know I was playing with one eye tied behind my back. 
And, oh man, it's looking like that right now. Although both green team trapped in the corner. No, he grabs his teammate! Oh, that's such a terrible thing to happen! Oh! Okay, blue team with some stage positioning, but oh, the, with that trade, they lose everything. Yeah, all right. Alvin and Joshi kind of having to struggle from behind right now, finally managing to take their first stock. Yeah, I mean, the it, 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 looks like, it looked like they were down, but you know, Isaiah Tacos, they were still at high percent, as we just saw, two grabs away from tying it up. I mean, at the same time, that means that Alvin right now is in the extreme danger zone. Yo, I, hold on a second. Joshi was the one who was going to die? He was at like 80 just a yeah, second ago. Yeah, he was close, close to the ledge. That back throw was pretty strong. You've got to be so careful. And, oh, look at Green Team just pushing the advantage. That was great protection there from Joshi. The plat drop there, nice little pass. Now they have... Isaiah, all to themselves. Wasn't able to get the jab grab. Isaiah, not able to get a punish. Great quick attack out. Hold on. Oh, this could be big in the back here. Why did he? He knew he wouldn't be able to cover him. Waited, wanted to keep the invincibility. Good move in the end. Sometimes That's sacrifices have to be made. That yeah. was the correct move. That's just like knowing, just being able to analyze the situation and knowing what's best. That's just like a high, high level thing. And I mean, listen, it's still working out for them. Blue team struggling, and I like the idea behind that quick attack, but he just waited there and that down smash took it. Oh no, big miss there on the edge guard. He went straight to ledge and there was nothing. They had such good coverage. Oh, and the double grab. Alvin is at 52, he has to deal with this 2v1. They're he could drop this stock. Both the last me. stock. Oh, they need some <laughs> real sick edge guard right now. Oh, that could be the start of one. He gets the up smash. That does it. Hold on a second. That was such a smart recovery. And the combo. Joshi. Hold on. They had ah, they had that one brief window where they could have gotten some 2v1 combo and they got some damage but didn't actually take out Isaiah. No, they stock. had to get out of there. You know, you had yeah, Tacos coming in with invincibility. Only thing scarier than a peek and doubles is a peek and doubles that can't be hit. Oh man, look at the intensity! He hits his teammate, but he manages to nair out and actually get some advantage. Hold on a second. Oh, and this Are you gonna get a double? He's alive! Brother. He's made it through that. How? That would have been such a pivotal pickup. And I think that's going to be Oh, it's a 1v2 now! Joshy at 89%. He needs oh, to find no, some he dropped low oh. in the pit. He That's survived the thunder! He the survived double, double thunder. thunder! They both thundered at the same time! Oh, huge my. win. What a hype, hype finish. Oh, my God. I'm a little disappointed we didn't get to see the whole reset happen, but the fact that Game 5 came down to Double Thunder not killing off the top, what? Isaiah said, I want to go to sleep. We are not <laughs> resetting. It is almost 1 in the yeah, morning. He's, he's like, he's like he's 60 out. now. He's almost out the door already. <laughs> Isaiah's almost gone. <laughs> not going to relish in the victory at all, but... Oh, I mean, man. look, I know a lot of people will hate on all the Pikas, right? That was fun. Oh, that yeah, was no. a good set. I mean, one of the things about Pika in doubles is that because it's less explosive, you get to have a much more push and pull with the games. So. Who would have been more mad, me or Isaiah? <laughs> Dude, I've been here since 8 o'clock. What, what do I have to lose at this point? <laughs> and I'll be back here at 8 o'clock. Look, thank you so much, everybody. No, they're they're gone, dude. They're <laughs> they are not even in the room anymore. Uh, I just want to thank everybody for uh, hanging out today. It was a long day. Um, I couldn't manage the stream at all. So thank you for putting up with no names, all that stuff. Um, thank you yeah. so much, Saul. Oh for, yeah, no, I was, I'm so glad in. that you let me just sit down and do this. Yeah, I, I was happy, man. I was happy. Someone uh, someone did it. Um, also, huge shout out, uh, employee of the month over here today was Ham. Ham went ham. He was going around taking pictures of pool sheets on his phone and going back and inputting the results in Smash GG all day. Thank God he got eliminated early. <laughs> I don't know what I would have done. Seriously, it was an insane tournament. Um, we will uh, not... 
be doing it like this next year. Uh, it was a little too much for one day. Ah. But I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And tomorrow, don't forget, we have uh, D2 and D1. And uh, just a little preview of what it'll look like.